So here's the drill. I have a lot of people ask, what is the best way to lose weight? And I wanna just be real with you right now because I understand there are a billion ways to cut calories, right? So, so many times we get stuck in, do I cut calories? Where do I put my macros at? And, and how do I make sure that I'm eating enough and not too much and that I'm doing enough exercise? And what does it take to finally lose the weight? And how come the scale continues to shift? And I don't know what's happening. So we get into this craziness. And guys, it is so, so much easier than what we've been taught. So I'm gonna blow your mind right now and the fact on how you can lose weight, how you can actually stop struggling to lose weight, which is gonna blow your mind because it totally did for me too. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to look back at your previous patterns in your life when you've stopped struggling. Now here's the deal. The way to lose weight and the easiest way ever is to stop trying to lose weight. Just stop. How many times in the past when you're busy with life, like life is busy, you don't have time to do anything, and you're just going, like you're planning something, maybe it was a wedding, maybe it was an event, maybe you're busy with a project at work, maybe you're your family, whatever it was, you're so busy that you don't have time to put any effort into things. And there is that, there's that gray area of times when you're really stressed, so you're overeating and you're worrying about it so much that it's moving in the wrong direction. But then all of a sudden you hit that sweet spot where you're like, did I just lose weight? I didn't even try, what the heck? I guess I was so busy. I was so busy I forgot to eat. Here's the thing, you don't forget to eat. When you're hungry, you're gonna eat, right? So you don't forget to eat. What you do is you stop obsessing about all the food. You stop thinking, oh my gosh, should I eat this for breakfast or should I have this for lunch? And how much protein should I have? And how many calories is this? And is this a lot of fat? And should I not have this snack? Because maybe I'll save some calories. Maybe I'll go do that extra run. And maybe I'll do this. And maybe I will, who gives a crap? Like seriously, just live your life and stop dieting. The minute I stopped dieting, I realized I started to enjoy my foods. I stopped worrying, is this the right food? Is that the right food? Should I be eating this much or that much or whatever? Like our brain is overwhelmed with crap. And have you ever noticed the more that you focus in on something, you obsess about something, the more you can't stop thinking about it? It's like right now, close your eyes. Now don't think about a white elephant. You can think about anything else besides a white elephant. All right, deal? Okay, open your eyes. What were you thinking about? a freaking white elephant, right? Because that's what you thought of. Like that's what you were told. That was the words that your brain digested. Your brain was like, okay, white elephant, dude, that's what I'm thinking about. So when you're telling yourself calories and foods and don't have this and don't have that, all you're telling yourself is all the foods. And then what are you thinking about? You're thinking about the foods that you really, really wanna have that are told they're off limits. And when they're told they're off limits, it's like the white elephant. You can't stop thinking about them. So here's the deal, guys. What I want you to understand is that you have to get yourself into a mindset of everything is working out. I am on course to achieve my results, but the more I obsess about it, the more I'm staying in that negative resistance and the less likely we are to get to actually where we wanna go because we're looking at it like, oh my gosh, okay, I can't eat chocolate. Oh my God, I can't have cake. Oh my gosh, I can't have the chips and the donuts and all the stuff that I love. Now I want all of it. I want it all right now. And I'm gonna eat it all. You know what? I'm gonna have it all right now. Last time, last time, because then I'm gonna go on this strict diet and I'll never eat it again. And then I'll get to my goals, right? It doesn't work. Just enjoy the foods. Now here's what generally happens in the first part of this process. Like if you have been so restrictive, cause I did this too, we're so restrictive. And then we go off like, you know what? I'm just gonna eat whatever. I'm just gonna go by what I feel like eating. Not overdo it. Like wake up in the morning, have breakfast. I don't skip breakfast, okay? But what is sound? what sounds good? I've had people say, oh my gosh, what should I have? Do you have any ideas? What should I have for breakfast? 
who gives a crap? What do you want? Like, what do you have on hand? What do you like? What works with your body? Like, if you like oatmeal, have oatmeal. If you like eggs, have eggs. If you don't like either of those, don't have either of those. You can have cereals or you can have something that's not breakfast foods, you know, in a be- breakfast food category. Just eat what is good food. You know what is good food. You're going to understand that over time, some of the foods that you eat don't give you good energy later. So you might make different adjustments. Like one day you have a donut, you're like, okay, I wanted a donut today and coffee. Great. Then tomorrow, maybe you're like, you know what? I had a huge slump after that. I felt very jittery. So you know what? I'm going to have something else for breakfast today. And you shift. And then you'll notice sometimes you might feel that you're going up a little bit doesn't last very long though because once you start to lose control of the I must control my calories and my macros and all my foods and oh my gosh my life must be under control we don't live like that like we're supposed to go by how we're feeling right we're supposed to be going on the fly we're supposed to be feeling good so when we feel good we make good choices when you feel bad you make negative choices right if I feel bad about myself what am I gonna choose I'm gonna choose the crappy options and I'm gonna feel bad about it But if I choose a food that maybe is not quote unquote healthiest for me and I enjoy it, like I like cake and donuts and ice cream and all the good stuff too. But when I have it, I don't feel bad about it. I enjoy it. I'm like, that was good. I like cream in my coffee. That's okay. Like you don't have to live a life of feeling so restricted that you're depressed, that you're unhappy. You should not live a life that's unhappy. If the life that you're living is unhappy because of the foods and the calories and all the dieting that you're doing, get off that bus now and get on the happy train. Like just feel good. Like what is it gonna take for me to feel good? Do I count how many grams I have of protein for lunch? Who gives a crap? If I'm eating something that's considered somewhat healthy, so be it. I can have my soup, I can have my sourdough bread, I can have maybe a little salad or a side dish or whatever, a peanut butter sandwich, it doesn't matter. If it feels good to me and it sounds good in that moment and that's what I have on hand and it gives me that energy boost, then so be it. And then I'm going to move on and the next meal will come and the next meal will come and the next day will come and the next day will come. And then all of a sudden when I let go of the pressure, life changes. You start to notice that nothing has a huge grip on you anymore. I stopped obsessing about foods. I stopped having emotional, I called them emotional binge eating breakdowns, where I would eat literally everything in sight. It made no sense. I would eat anything I could find in the refrigerator. I'd open the pantry and I would come, you know, continue to eat whatever I can find in there that was edible. I would just keep, I didn't care. Until later, then I was like, oh, see, you suck, so you should get control of these calories again. No, that's the problem. The problem is the restriction. So stop restricting yourself. Stop, stop putting yourself under this negative pressure and start feeling happy. Like just start thinking, you know what? It's working. It's working because I know what to do and I can trust what I feel like having every single day and every single meal. Like if I feel like having something, I'm gonna go have it. If I plan, like I do a meal prep plan day, which is not really one of my favorite things to do. If I plan something and I have like a good intentions with it and then I just say, I don't really feel like having that for lunch anymore, I can shift and have something else. There's no rules. And in that, I have freedom. I have freedom of choice. Guess what? We all do, right? So stop putting all these pressures on yourselves because let's just be honest. How long has that been working for you? I'll wait. I don't think it's been working for you. I don't think it's been working for any of us ever. And yet we keep thinking that if we do it better the next time, it's going to work better. It doesn't. It never will. It never does. I've tried it. I tried it for a long, long time. And then I tried it this way. And guess what? This works so much better. And I'm going to, I'm going to assume that you're a little bit scared to try it. And I get it. I get the fear because we're so, we're so brainwashed to think that this is the only way because this is how diets work. And science says that calories in versus calories out is how we lose weight. Dude, I get it. We know this. We don't have to be told this. We don't have to follow a rule. Just follow what you already know and move along with what your body tells you. Your body's pretty freaking smart. 
it works all day every day you don't have to think about breathing you don't have to worry about pumping your blood through your body you don't have to worry about beating your heart you don't have to worry about all your organs functioning every day that just happens so let's trust it a little bit more than we've given it in the past right we know our body knows what's good for us and as long as we can let go of what the brain and the obsession is telling us to do the more we can move away from that space that negative resistance, like, ah, oh, I have to control stuff, all of a sudden life becomes a lot better, a lot happier. We start to achieve our goals, we start to feel better. We don't have to count. Counting sucks, right? I hated counting. For years I would count calories and macros and all this stuff, and then I went to intuitive eating, and then I was like, what does that look like? I don't know, should I know and I don't know? Am I doing it right? It means just be intuitive. It means just go with it. It doesn't mean figure it out. Just go with your intuition, your gut, your inner know, like that inner guidance. You, right? You have a body, and then you have like your internal spirit and guidance. Use that more often. Trust in it. It's pretty cool. It works for us. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you with that. I love you. I hope this was helpful. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or uh, if you want any other different content that's gonna help you, I'm happy to share. And uh, let's go get after it. You have everything you need. Go and succeed. See you later.